Hi and welcome to Peacemake TV. In this video for WordPress, I'm going to show you how we can take one of the new features in Visual Composer 5 and take a look at that in a little more detail. So in this video, we're going to see how we can save out the elements of our page as templates. So previously, we had to save the entire layout, but now with the latest version of Visual Composer, we can go through and we can choose which elements we want to save as templates. So let's take a look at that in a little bit more detail in this video. So I've got a blank page open in front of me and you can see I've got Visual Composer enabled. So all I'm going to do is go through and just create a simple layout and then we're going to take a look at how we can save these different elements as templates. So let's start off just adding in a new row and we'll set some configuration options on this. We'll set that to be a 50-50 row and we'll drop some information in there. We'll have a text block on there and on the other side we'll have an image. So we'll just drop in a single image and We'll choose a picture from what I've got uploaded, so that'll do. Set an image, and let's just set the size of that. I'm not going to worry too much about what we're doing here. It's more a case of just saying I want to set this up. So let's just say that's looking good. So we've got some elements there. Let's go in and create something else now. We'll put another row in there, and we'll set this up to be three columns. And we'll do the same thing again. So we just duplicate this a couple of times, so we've got something in there. And we'll just position those in each one of these. So we've now got the basis of a web page laid out. So let's just put these final ones in. And then we're pretty much good to go. Okay, so we've now created a two column and a three column layout. Now, normally you would come up and you say save as a template, you save that out, and then you effectively end up with your entire page as a template. Now, you don't always want to do that. I might say, well, I want to use this three column layer with the images and so on, and I want to use that again and again in different layouts. So what I can do now is I can come up and I can edit this row. And once I've done that, you can see we've got the cog icon in the top right hand corner. If I click on there, we've always had save as preset and save as default. But we never had until now save as template. So now if I click on that, you can see I can now give this a name so I can say three column layout and we can say save changes that's done we can now click and close that down so now if I want to use that template to add another section in to look the same on another page I can do the same things I normally would with the templates click to choose a template you can see my template is now listed there so I can click that puts that in straight away for me so before I wrap this video there's a couple of other things that I want to show you so I just come back up to our template section and click on that you can see our templates are listed in there and you can see that once I take a mouse over any of these rows you can see we now get three icons on the right hand side we've got the plus which will add an instance of this particular template to our page and close the dialog box down we can delete the template if we want to to get rid of it we can also click this little sort of toggle arrow on the right hand side and that'll show us the preview of exactly what's included in our layout so you can see this is exactly what is going to be included if we click to add this particular template in so this is a great way to quickly skim through and see exactly what you've got listed in there and you can make sure you're choosing the right template so that pretty much wraps up how you can use these templates now to expand the way that you design your pages when you can get down instead of having the entire layout you can now pick and choose the different elements you want to save out as a template and then build your pages from all those different templates later on. Well I hope you found this video useful, I hope it's going to be insight into how you can use Visual Composer to speed up your workflow. If you did enjoy the video please hit that subscribe button and give the video a thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions or feedback on this video or anything else we cover on the channel, please pop those in the comment section below. And until next time, take care.